today I'm going to be showing you one of the most walkable brand new condo communities around Pasadena, California. When I talk to people moving to the Pasadena, Los Angeles area, they almost always tell me that they want to live somewhere that's brand new and walkable with easy access to shopping and coffee shops right outside their door. Today, I'm going to be showing you an exclusive tour of a brand new condo community that may fit those needs in the neighborhood of Montrose in Glendale, California. This community is actually still under construction. Special thanks to listing agent Razmik Bogazian with John Hart Real Estate Group for giving me this exclusive opportunity to showcase this property. We're gonna be talking about what's special about the units available and what's special about this location so you can get a feel for what's it like living here and if it's suitable for you and your family. All right, now the community we are covering today is Honolulu Hills, built by a local builder located on 2608 Honolulu Avenue. This 28 unit condo community is conveniently located at the northeast part of Glendale, located just south of the 210 near where the 2 and 210 freeway intersect. It's centrally located between major employers and metropolitan centers. It's 15 to 20 minutes away from downtown Pasadena, downtown Glendale, and around 25 to 30 minutes away from downtown Los Angeles and downtown Burbank. Looking at this community from the outside, you can tell the builder chose a modern yet eclectic design. Lots of roof overhangs, recessed and protruding edges really makes this complex stand out. You've got green horizontal wall panels paired with yellow earth tone stucco contrasted by bold red metal balcony railings. There aren't any larger trees on the property but a ton of planters and courtyard landscaping here full of different sculptural drought tolerant vegetation. I like how the outdoor corridors are very wide and open, bringing in a lot of light throughout the walkways. And there's also this terraced courtyard towards the back of the property with wide pathways that twist and turn, all while giving you epic views of the Verdugo Mountains in the background. There has been tons of interest and pre-orders for these units. At the time of this recording, there are still 12 units left for this 28 unit condo community. And the builder expects the homes to be ready to close escrow in early March 2024. The unit we're touring today is going to be a staged two bedroom unit. Over here, you've got two bedroom, two and a half bedroom units from 1100 to 1300 square feet, selling from around $880,000 to $890,000. There are also three bedroom, three bathroom, 1400 to 1700 square foot units, selling from between one and a quarter to 1.3 million, with monthly HOA between $350 and $400 a month. Front door opens up to an open space great room with light wood floors, high ceilings, and lots of recessed lighting. There is an L-shaped kitchen peninsula with gray shaker cabinets, black hardware paired with stainless steel Bosch appliances, and white marble looking cords that flows from the backsplash to the countertop. Also a closet with hookup for your private washer and dryer so you never have to do your laundry in a public laundry room. There is seating for five in a dining area that leads into a cozy living room area, perfect for small group gatherings or relaxing after a long day of work. You've got this nice balcony area big enough for a couple of outdoor patio furniture for you to just sit back and enjoy the views of the Verdugo Mountains. Towards the front, next to the front door, there is a courtyard facing bedroom that would work perfectly as a secondary bedroom or home office with easy access to a large bathroom that has LED lit mirrors, gray shaker cabinets, a large glass door tub, and two doorways so it can service both the bedroom and common space as well. Towards the back of the unit, we have the primary bedroom suite primary bedroom is nice and bright with direct access to the outdoor balcony and a massive walk-in closet with plenty of storage space. Primary bathroom is very spacious with an enormous gray shaker dual sink vanity and dual LED lit mirrors. Also an impressive walk-in glass door shower that'll make your daily cleansing super convenient. Now, what I've noticed is that this builder really built this complex to appeal to all kinds of different buyers. The fact that all the units are single level and have walk-in shower would definitely appeal to more older buyers or people uncomfortable with climbing up steep staircases. 
younger families with kids will appreciate the fact that even though this complex is in the city of Glendale, it actually belongs to La Crescenta School District, a more desirable public school district with high scoring schools across elementary to high school, with Crescenta Valley High School scoring 10 out of 10 on greatschools.org. They even made the complex appealing to people with electric cars. Each of the units come with assigned two car underground garage parking, and there are several fast charging juice box EV charging stations for communal use. This community is located less than five minutes walk to a Trader Joe's supermarket and a picturesque downtown filled with manicured landscaping and colorful small shops and restaurants called Monroe's Shopping Park. Over here, you won't find too many bars or uh, nightlife like larger metropolitan downtowns like downtown Glendale or Old Town Pasadena. Instead, this place is perfect for families with children or couples who want to enjoy casual restaurants and shopping within a small town city. The scale of this place isn't very large, just enough for you to spend an afternoon or evening. There are a variety of family-friendly shops ranging from children's clothing, toys and collectibles, eclectic apparel and shoes, to dessert shops and cafes. If you're in the area, make sure you come for a classic American breakfast or brunch at the Black Cow Cafe. They have these amazing French toast things called Count Montrose Cristos. There's also a really neat bookstore called Lost Bookstore. It's like this rainforest themed bookstore filled with plants and the entire ceiling is covered with moss. Montrose Shopping Park also reserves its streets for weekend and annual events that really bring the community together. I was there during a Sunday morning farmer's market and the streets were filled with people and full of all kinds of food vendors. There are even larger events throughout the year like car shows and beer festivals. Hey, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kevin Quo, your past in a Los Angeles real estate agent. If you're planning to buy, sell, or invest in a home around here, contact me directly or book an appointment in the description down below. I love living in Pasadena area, so my channel covers everything about living here because I want you to love living here as well. If you enjoy my content, please remember to like and subscribe to be notified anytime a new video comes out. So, you know this community is super walkable, but let's face it, you can't be eating fancy brunch and buying specialty gifts every single day. Good thing this location is also only 5 minutes drive from Foothill Boulevard, a major commercial street filled with everyday services. Around Foothill Boulevard, it's definitely not going to be as walkable as Montrose Shopping Park but you've got national discount retailers like Ross, Big Lots, there's a couple of Asian supermarkets here, tutoring, martial arts centers, and other after-school activity centers, auto repair shops, small medical offices, and everything you'll need for your day-to-day. -day. If you can't find what you need here, just drive less than 10 minutes east on Foothill to a large plaza called the La Quinona Flintridge Town Center. This area has a Target, Home Goods, a Sprout Supermarket right next door, typical American comfort food franchises, and a variety of family-friendly restaurants. And if you're into recreational sports, if you're a seasoned golf enthusiast, or just enjoy exercising in the great outdoors, there are a plethora of parks, open space areas, golf courses, and hiking trails all within 5 to 10 minutes drive around this part of Glendale. Last weekend, my dad and I went mountain biking at the Catalina Verdugo Trail right next to the Glendale Sports Complex, only 10 minutes from here. The Glendale Sports Complex is this really massive multi-baseball field and soccer facility. And the trail is a short one and a half hour loop that's just challenging enough for a good workout but also has absolutely amazing views of the sports fields down below. So, what do you think about this community in Montrose, California? Can you see yourself living here? To learn more about living around this area, check out the other videos on my channel. And if you have any real estate related questions, you can text me or leave me a message down below and my partners and I would love to help. Until next time, God bless and goodbye.